crooked there. Let me, hang on one second here. I just need to pull up my Facebook here on my iPad. I meant to open that before. You think, you, you would think after months and months of doing these lives that I would have all these things organized and ready, but not so, not so, not in my world. Uh, let me turn that volume off. Okay, we are here and I've got four people so far that have joined me. Sorry, while I reach across here. So please do say hi and, uh, well, did my voice crack? Say hi. Um, let me know where you're from and because uh, I'd love to say hello to you as you pop on. Hello, bonjour. My name is Denise Willerton and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. I'm thrilled that you're here. If you're watching my Facebook Live, I'm happy to have you here. Um, if you're watching the replay, I'm happy to have you here as well. Leave a, a comment, leave a hello. I see Kathy. I see Donna, I see Shell, I see Barb, uh, excuse me, I saw a few others. Darlene is here, Karen is here. Um, I want to welcome you all here. Unless you call your, your name out with a hello, I don't want to um, personally uh, welcome you here just because I want to respect your privacy. Um, so I see, what, what am I seeing here? Karen, you shared, and I think Barb, you just told me that you shared. So for anyone that's new here, um, when people share, I add their name and I put it in my little tin, and um, I always draw a prize uh, at the end of my video. So um, today I'm going to be choosing those that shared last week. And I will be writing your name down for those that are sharing this week. Hi, Connie. Welcome here. Um, romper Room. Yes, I see. Romper, romper, Stomper, Bomper. I can't remember how it went, but yes. I, I can't remember if I watched that as a child or um, if it was my kids that watched it. Somehow I think it was me. Romper, bomper, stomper, room. Tell me, tell me, tell me who. Tell me, mirror, tell me today, all my friends that have come to play. I think that's how it went. So anyway, ah, craziness. Okay, uh, Karen, you shared. I need to write your name down right now. And Barb, you shared. Um... And who else shared? I'm not sure if I missed anyone. Do I have it right, Kathy? I'm not sure if I do. But Karen and Barb, so far I have you down as a share. You know what, um, girls? I um, I love to write. I, I'm a poet. Uh, I have written poetry before. That's probably why um, that I remember that. So... Thank you, Shell, and thank you, Karen, for being impressed. Um, I surprise myself every now and then. Kathy, okay, I've got you down, Kathy. Um, I see that you shared as well. I hope everybody is doing great today. We are going to create um, two sweet, sweet boxes um, credit goes to Julie DiMatteo. She is absolutely amazing. She's a fellow uh, Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and uh, she's incredible. Uh, she goes by Paper Pixie, and uh, she's she's unbelievable. Jean, hi, welcome here. I, I wasn't even sure that you're here. I am writing your name down as a share. Um so thank you for doing that. I forgot to put my phone on Do Not Disturb. So hopefully um, there are no glitches today. So far we have Kathy, Barb, Karen, and Jean who have shared. Um, 
So anyway, back to Julie DiMatteo. So uh, my girlfriend Darlene gifted me a birthday gift last week. And um, in, in my gifts, she wrapped them in these sweet little boxes that she got the tutorial from Julie. And so when I was showing them last week on my live, um, hi Chris, welcome here. Um, uh, when when I was showing those last week on my live, there were so many oohs and ahs, and I thought, you know what, I need to do a live featuring that. So I'm hoping I have time to do both of these boxes, um, as well as a really really cute um, card. Super simple, uh, super easy, but just stunning. And um, I got that when I was watching uh, Tamara last week and so I thought you know what I have to make this card today so if you share let me know I will put your name in and uh, Karen I don't see that I froze at this end it might be you uh, sometimes when that happens what you need to do is you just need to refresh your Facebook page I think that's a little bit of a Facebook issue uh, because I can tell when I freeze because all of a sudden I start cycling so it might be you, Karen. So there's that little that little circle arrow that little circle with an arrow uh, head at the at the bottom of it or the top of it, whichever way it is that you're um, you're looking at it. That's your refresh button. So just refresh on Facebook, and you should be good. So ladies, I'm gonna bring the camera down so we can get started. And I see some other people have popped on here but have not um, said hello. So I don't want to uh, call your name out until you say hello to me, but I do still want to say hello to you because I acknowledge that you're here. Camera's coming down, ladies. My beautiful cousin from Calgary's here. I love it when I see her name pop up. Anyway, and I love it when I see all of your names pop up too. Brenda, thank you. I will put your name down for a share and I want to welcome you here. So Brenda L S. There we go. Camera is coming down, okay? And let me spin it around so I'm not upside down. And hopefully I don't have cords and such in the way. Let's see where we're at. You can't spell hi. That, well, no, Brigitte, let's just say that that's French, okay? So you can, you can totally spell. You can totally spell. Connie, I've got you down as a share as well. So, Brigitte, what I do here uh, on my Facebook Live is uh, when people share, uh, I write their name down, and I put their name in a draw, um, and I draw... Uh, next next week on my Facebook Live, I will draw for the people that have shared this week, okay? And it goes in my little tin. So far, I have Karen, Barb, Kathy, Jean, Brenda, and Connie who have shared. And thank you so much for that, ladies. Very much. I appreciate it. When you share, it really... Um, it's kind of a confidence builder over here because then it... it uh, it's kind of like you're not embarrassed to share that you're here. Let me turn some lights on so we get a little better lighting. And let's bring that in. I've got this other light, and I think it's so far away that um, we can't... It, it the, the light doesn't make a difference. Okay, let's start with the larger one, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to grab your design paper, okay? Um, no, Connie, I'm not freezing, hun. It must be you. So what you need to do is you need to refresh your Facebook page. I can tell if I'm freezing over here, um, and, and I haven't. And Connie, I do have you down as a share. So um, this first box is going to be this one. It's called a faceted. Look at that. So you've got, um, I think this is about two and a half inches. What is it? Two and a half inches. You have a two and a half inch square at the bottom, okay? This is called a faceted gem box. This is the one that my girlfriend had a little um, birthday present in for me. 
This is another one that I created using, I forget the name of this paper. I should have pulled it out and I didn't. But anyway, um, I used that. This was the first one that I did. Okay. And today I'm going to create this one. Carol, welcome here, hon. And I've got you down for a share as well. And hello, hello. So Carol, whoops, I spelt your name wrong. Sorry, honey. Carol S. Thank you, Donna. Peony paper, you're right. I need you here, girl. Uh, where did my other little... Mm, there they are. And uh, Darlene, you said you shared. I've got you down too for a share. Thank you, ladies. For sharing okay refreshed it several times and you're freezing off and on huh I don't know if anyone else is having that hmm sorry about that Connie you are starting with a piece of 8 by 8 design paper and this design paper comes from fine art floral this paper is absolutely stunning. And before, it's not available anymore. For art, all the artists out there, um, people that like to paint, this paper almost looks dimensional. It looks like, um, I, I used to oil paint. Look at the dimension in the paper. Like it looks like the thick oil paint when you oil paint on canvas. I've got an oil painting at our lake that I did in, in grade nine. It's just beautiful paper. Oh, did you? Yay, you'll be happy. You definitely will be happy. Look at it's just gorgeous. Anyway, let's get on to our faceted gem box. And I hope I don't botch this up. Here is my little template, okay? So if anybody wants to take a screenshot, I'll give you a minute. I'll try and put that square so you can take a screenshot of that, okay? This is called, or this, the, the paper, Karen, the paper is called Fine Art Floral. Let me double check. Yeah, Fine Art Floral, uh, Karen, is the name of that paper. And we are creating a faceted gem box, okay? So you're going to take your paper trimmer or you can grab your score, um, your scoreboard, and you're going to score two inches on each side, okay? Whoa. I just pressed too hard and I tore my paper. I am, I think I'm a little bit nervous because I did honestly have a little bit of a hard time with this and I think I'm nervous about botching it up. Hello Tracy, welcome here. Now this is, um, this is, oh, it's supposed to be, what size is this supposed to be? It is, yes, it's eight by eight. Okay, sorry, I'm okay. So eight by eight. And now I want to score it to my first score line at my halfway, okay? And so that's going to be at four inches. So I'm going to find my four inch mark here. And I am going to score right to that two inch mark that I just made, okay? Carol, when I was doing my prototype, I kept messing it up and I'm thinking, oh boy, can I do this on a live? So I am scoring at four inches now just to my first two inch score mark. Thank you so much, Tracy. It's so nice to see your name pop up. So I'm going to my first score mark. 
and I've got one more. So four inches to my first two inch score mark. Okay. Now as per my instructions, this is what I just did. So I've done my two inches on each side. Now I've done four inches. Okay. Now I want to do from this corner to this corner on all of them. Okay. Donna, you're sweet. So I'm going to put this corner in here and I want to make sure, first of all, that I'm in the camera. So I want my top corner in there and I'm going to put my bottom corner. So what I'm doing is my corners are po pointing into the track. Okay, we're going to close this. And we're going to go, and this is a little bit hard to see. Where am I going? You are going to your two inch mark. Okay, so that is right about there. And then I'm just going to pick it up a little bit and I'm going to come down here and I'm going to do the same thing down here. I'm going to my two inch mark. Okay. I'm going to flip this around. I want this corner and this corner in my track. And again, I'm going to my two inch mark. Hard to see. Darlene, was there a trick when you did that? Or maybe you were on your scoreboard. I don't know if it's easier. So I'm gonna take my score and I'm going to my two inch, right? because we went two inches from the beginning. I'm gonna pick it up and I'm gonna bring it to the top and grab this to my two inch mark. Okay, so now I've done my four corners. Okay, so we've done this corner, we've done our four inch, we've done all of the corners, and now I wanna go from this two inch mark all the way to the edge, okay? Boy, this is where I messed up when I was working on it. So here's my two inch mark here. So I wanna go from that two inch mark all the way to this two inch mark, okay? So I've got this two inch mark in the track and that one. Let's close it and we're gonna go straight across, okay? You did it on your scoreboard, that might have been easier. Look at where I went too hard. I'm gonna, I'll just put a little piece of tape behind that. And it might be easier on the scoreboard I've got this two inch mark in the track and I've got this two inch mark in the track. Let's score that. Here's my, and it's easier on this side. So I've done that one. And there's my two inch to this two inch. Okay, so let's put that two inch in the track and that one. I'm going to have to get up in a bit and get some scotch tape. Can you see how, di yeah, you know what? It, it, uh, it is a little bit difficult because of the pattern for sure, but I see that I've got this two inch done, this two inch is done, this one is done. Have I done them all? I am missing one. I am missing this one right here. So if you flip it over, so this two inch mark here is going to marry up with this two inch mark up there. I can kind of feel where my two inch marks are. I was just going to say flip it over. It is. 
So if I flip it over, I see that I do have all my score marks. I have to go get scotch tape. I will be right back. Sorry about this. I'll let you just look at this beautiful paper while I go. Sorry about that. Okay, let's get a little smidge of scotch tape behind there. Now on the back of this, you can see the score marks a little bit easier. Let's put some tape down there because this box is still going to work. Now as per this, I've got some areas to cut away. Okay, so let's get our snips and I'm going to go from this two inch mark to this corner and cut that away, okay? So I better stay on my proper side. So I am just following my score lines to that corner and I'm going to cut that away. This paper is so gorgeous. So if I look at my template, I see that the next one that I cut away is right here. So I am going from this score mark here Darlene made so many of these because she packaged up some beautiful gifts for all of the people living in her parents' complex, which is just a beautiful, beautiful gift. I'm taking this corner here away, or, or diamond, I mean. And so, Dar, I have a question for you and I see where I scored too deeply. I think that's nerves. Wow. You know what? I'm nervous. And I cut that really poorly. Really poorly. But, you know what? That is the joy of a live. Look at how bad I cut that. Because I couldn't really see it very well. And this is my next cutaway. So you will have four cutaways. Okay? So let's go to that corner and that corner. So there's my four cutaways. Okay. And now, and I meant to have my video up and running so that I could cheat Okay, you want all of your score lines, you always want them to be well burnished, okay? And you know what? If I would have burnished all of my two-inch marks first, I would have had an easier time with my cutaways, okay? So, word to the wise, if you do want to make this box, do your burnishing first. Hello, Shelly. Welcome here, my dear friend. And I do love this paper so much as well. It's absolutely stunning. I need to bring up my video so that I know what I'm doing. I've only done this once. I am just burnishing all of my score marks, okay? Now, this, okay, so now what I want to do is I want to go, here's my two inch and here's my two inch. I want to bring that corner like so. I'm doing this by memory. Darlene, if I'm going wrong, you need to tell me, honey, I'm putting you on the spot. My dear friend Darlene made me the sweetest gift boxes for my birthday present. 
I fell behind. Can you reshow where to cut? Uh, right here. There's where you. There's where you're gonna cut, Barb. Okay. There is where you are going to cut. So take a screenshot of that. So after you cut, if I lay this down on here, see how it it should show you where you have cut away, okay? Yeah, I see that I am, and now I'm going fuzzy. Ah, sorry. Sporadic freezing. Gotta love my Wi-Fi up here. Not. I think what it is, is I forgot to um, do not disturb on my phone. And so because of that, I think maybe there's probably somebody emailing me or something. So now what we're going to do is you've got these little corners, okay? And they are going to come into here, okay? Because now we are starting to create a box. How can I save this for the future? Um, Brigitte... Um, I always have these saved and you can also go to my YouTube channel. Yeah, this is not a good, uh, a good feed. I can tell, uh, Brigitte, if you go to YouTube and you, uh, Google my name, which is Denise Willerton, my YouTube channel will come up and I want you to subscribe to that. And then you can watch this anytime because it will be there. So I'm putting glue on these little corners. So I'm just matching them up nice and even. And it helps when you have burnished your score lines. Now, if you put glue, let's see here, like so, okay? And then this edge, I need a pencil. This edge right here is going to go along that edge right there, like so. Thanks, Connie, so much for um, helping Brigitte with that. Okay, so same thing. Let's give that a little help in hand here. I forgot to score this uh, or, or burnish this. De rien, my darling cousin. So I'm putting adhesive down here. This edge here is going to go along that edge there, like so. I want to hold it for just a smidge. Brigitte, my girls are amazing. They are so helpful and so friendly. If you were here in Winnipeg, you would love them. But you could still love them even though you're not here in Winnipeg. So I'm going to put adhesive on this triangle. And this edge here is going to go along that edge there. And if I'm doing this box incorrectly, we're going to soon find out. Okay. And now here is, you're going to pinch right here. I'm pinching and I'm pinching and see how this even though I have scotch tape holding some of this down see how this comes together like that I think I did it wrong something something is wonky here because it's supposed to be faceted um, 
What happened? I think I forgot something. Right here, that's what it is. You know what, I didn't burnish and it's too late to burnish now. Oh, Denise! Denise, Denise, Denise. There we go. These fold out. These fold out. And there we go. There's my faceted. Okay. Wrong instructions. Okay. Remember how I was folding these in? These fold out. So if you see that, see how now it becomes our faceted box. Okay. Pinch the top ones out, the bottom sections in. Exactly. Thank you so much, Darlene. So I, I steered you the wrong way, girls. Are you, are you seeing what I did? And then I have this little hole punch. And I punched a hole for my ribbon along the score line in the center about here. And then I went on the opposite side. So this would be the opposite side right here, like that. This is gorgeous, but it's retired. I'm sorry, it's retired ribbon. Do you remember Lucky Lime Aid? That's how long I've had this. I'm going to feed that ribbon through the holes like so. Sorry for all that mix up. Now these points point out, okay? Yeah, thank you, Brenda. <laughs> thank you. And if I give this a little, a little tug and push these ends in, like so, let's tie a bow to hold it. <laughs> it's giving me a hard time. Stop it, faceted box. Okay. I think you get the idea, though. So these, it didn't, it didn't tighten up enough here for you to see. This portion here sticks out, and then you push the other ones in, okay? I love this. It's so gorgeous, and I'm not, it's not going to beat me. I'm going to make it again and again and again. Isn't that gorgeous? So that is the faceted box, okay? You'll have to go back and look at the replay to see how I did it. And um, I, I, was, I was correct on all points until I started, I pushed these corners in. So if I open it up, I've got four corners, okay? And I push them into the box. You actually want them the wrong way or the opposite way. You want them coming out, okay? And then there becomes your faceted box. So again, here is the, um, the cutting instructions. So Barb, if you need this, it's here again. So we've got eight by eight, and here's all your markings. So take a screenshot of that. And you know what, when I do my blog post, I'll take a picture of this as well, and it'll be on there, okay? So you're going to start with two inches on all four sides, and then you're going to bring all of these other ones to your two-inch mark, except for this corner of the two-inch straight across to this, this straight across to this on your two-inch, this straight across to that, and this straight across to this, okay? I think that makes a little more sense. Then you're going to score well, okay? And this is what you have. There's your faceted box. And then the ribbon, once it's tied, like this one, it's tied nice and tight, it's going to hold it all together, okay? It's gorgeous. Now let's move on to the second box that I want to show you because it's super cute. Super, super cute. So this was the one that Darlene made. 
Now she made hers a little bit bigger. I do not know what this shape is at all. Um, uh, Julie DiMatteo called it the self-closing treat box, okay? Now I made mine. I think Darlene must have cut her paper eight by eight to do this. I cut mine six by six, okay? And I used um, the gorgeous strawberry paper, but I grabbed the blueberries, okay? So here is the template for this one that we're gonna do, okay? So if you wanna take a screenshot, you can. And this particular one is six inches by six inches, okay? So let's get on to that. I use the blueberry paper on this one. This one, I wanted to make it with really small design paper. So this design paper is the Ornate Garden, okay? Let me show you that. And hopefully this is gonna go quickly because I really do wanna get onto the card. Look at this Ornate Garden. So ladies, before this is gone, you're gonna to wanna to grab that from the catalog as well because this is retiring and it is absolutely stunning. This would look really cute with a box as well, okay? Let's get on to this. The other side of this has the gold um, foiling on there, so it's going to look really cute, I think on the inside. So again, you want to grab either your scoreboard or your paper trimmer, but you want to make sure, oh, you did nine by nine. Okay. Yeah. Cause Darlene's is here. Here's the comparison. Darlene's is substantially bigger than mine. Okay. This one is six by six. Again, we are scoring. Do not press through your DSP, Denise. We are scoring at two inches on all four sides, okay? And yes, I do have a habit of going back and forth. I don't know why. Does anybody else do that? Or when you're on your paper trimmer, do you just go once and then you're done? Don't know why I do that. Okay, so I've just done two inches on all four sides. And you know what? I'm going to flip it over so that I can see it better. I'm going to go from corner. Mind you, this one's going to be super easy. I want this corner in my track, and I want this corner in my track. I'm going to close, make sure that my paper has not moved, and I'm going to score. And then I want this corner in my track and that one. Now the trick with these, I want to make sure I'm right in the track here. The trick with, um, you do a couple of times too, there you go. I thought I was the only crazy person that did that, and I'm not. So that's good to know. So you know what? We are done with our scoreboard. But what I want to do now, just so that I know where my scores are, I'm going to burnish, okay? So these are my two inch, four times. Whoops, there we go. And I also went from corner to corner. I wanna make sure that I'm lining up nicely. And then Okay, you do too. Okay, so I thought I was the only one. Well, there you go. We're, we're either all crazy together or that's just normal. So did everybody catch that? I burnished on my two inches, all four sides. Then I burnished this way. Then I burnished that way. Now what I want to do is I want to take this corner and I want to bring it even with that, okay? And again, I'm going by memory. 
which if you know me, it's not a good idea, Denise, to go by memory. Okay, let's open those up. I'm going to fold this one down and I'm going to come straight up here. Now I want to fold on my... Oh, I remember now, I want, I want this edge to be even, no, I want, I want this edge here, I'm going to fold up and I want it even with this edge. So I'm taking this edge and I'm just folding it straight up along that edge. Give that a really good burnish. This is so cool when it comes together. You've got a score line right here fold that in, burnish, and fold it up and burnish, okay? We're going to do the same thing here. I want to bring this edge here, even with that, give that a burnish, open it up, fold this I taught you to do that, Karen. Oh, <laughs> okay. I want you to fold this little one and then fold it up again. Okay. We're going to open all of that up and we're going to do the same thing again. Repetition, right? So we're going to fold that in half. I'm bringing this edge up to this edge, burnish, open it up, fold this one, and your score lines are already there, ladies, okay? Burnish that, and now tuck that up and burnish it again. Darlene, I really enjoyed making this one. I think I prefer this one to the other one. So again, I took this, let's call this an ear, and the score mark is already there. Bring it up and bring this edge up to that edge and burnish. Open it up. You've got a little score line here. Fold that over. You want to make sure you're nice and square here. And then fold it up again. So now we've done that on both of those sides as well. Okay? And now... Um, now what do I do? Okay, so now fold, 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 fold. Mm, I have one more to do. Fold that in half. Bring this up here. I think I need my cheat sheet. I need my Julie. Yeah, I loved this one too. Now I have to make it into the shape of an envelope and bring that up. And I'm trying to remember what that looks like. I want to bring this large edge even with that score mark and even down here, okay? like so. After, after you've done all of those scorings, you want to do this last one. So I'm bringing this edge and this edge here down to here. So see how, see how I've got this edge here? I want to make sure that that edge is nice. Okay, I see that I fell off. Let's see here. Sorry about that. Let's find my notifications. Sorry, ladies. I will be right there. I just want to pull this up. Okay, here we go. Sorry about that. See if anybody comes back. I am back. Sorry, Darlene, about that. Oh boy.
I forgot to, and now I've got my do not disturb. So hopefully that is going to make a difference. So I am back. I am back. And Dar, it looks like you're the only one that has come back. Everybody else got frustrated with me. I'm sad. Oh, somebody else is back. Susan, thank you so much for coming back. I don't know if you were here the first time, but I cut out. So now all of our... Thank you, Kathy, for coming back. Crazy technology. Crazy, crazy. And I keep moving my hands because I want to make sure that I'm not frozen. So this time I did put my phone on Do Not Disturb. Hopefully that's going to make a difference. Okay. So now that we have... Hi, Brenda. Welcome back, honey. Sorry about that. You know what? I, I did put my phone on Do Not Disturb. So hopefully that's going to make a difference. Um, yeah, I hope more people come back. Connie, welcome back, hon. Thanks for coming back and being patient with me. Appreciate that. I really do. I, um, yeah, yeah, you found me, honey. I found you. Um, I put my phone on do not disturb. So hopefully that's going to help. So sorry about that. So now we've done all of our scoring. Okay, and now we're going to fold this like so, and it looks like a house, right? Christine, welcome back, honey. I'm glad you found me too. Um, I actually, I turned off because I realized that I had fallen right off. So I think what happened was I forgot to put my phone on Do Not Disturb. And then if emails and stuff are coming in through my phone, I think it slows everything down. So... I, I need a checklist. I definitely need a checklist so that I remember to um, to do this. Hi, Carol. Welcome back, hon. Sorry about that. I, uh, I did put my phone on Do Not Disturb. So, um, everyone, did you see all of the, the folding that we did, okay, with all the score lines? We folded all the score lines. We folded this up. Then we folded um, this little guy in. And we folded that like that and we did all of our burnishing okay so now what we're gonna do is we're going to take this edge here and we're going to bring it down even with this edge here okay so that's what we're doing Donna welcome back and Christine, welcome back to, sorry about that. I, I forgot to put my phone on Do Not Disturb and uh, I need a checklist before I go live. Let me show you really quickly what we've done. You're gonna fold, and you're gonna do this um, four times. So you're gonna fold, or, or twice. You're gonna fold this edge up. You're gonna fold this edge in half. You're gonna fold this edge here up to here and burnish you're gonna fold this corner up and you're gonna fold that corner up and burnish you're gonna do the same thing on this side okay oh Carol I am so with you with technology it's a love-hate relationship isn't it then you're gonna open this up and you're gonna do it again you're gonna open that up you're gonna fold this corner up you're gonna fold this in half up to here burnish well take this edge Bring it up here, burnish well, open it, take this little corner up, take this little corner up, okay? So now once that's done on all four sides, you're then going to take your, um, your, your design paper and you're going to fold, I've, I've got it happening this way, you're going to fold this edge here and you're going to fold it over and you're going to follow this line along with this score line. You're going to follow this edge along this edge and fold it like so. Okay, let me repeat that. You're doing the same. You're doing this on this side and you're going to do the same on this side. You're going to take this edge. You're going to follow it along this score line. This bottom edge is going to be along this bottom edge. So I'm going to fold. I want to make sure that I'm nice and flush down here. And you're going to burnish. 
and now you have an envelope. Everybody with me? Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this point here and I am going to tuck it into here. So this gets tucked into here like so, right? And then I am going to open it up. There's my envelope like so. Okay, there's my little, um, see how, how now th this is a little, what am I trying to say? It's a little bag, let's say. And if I squish it shut, I've got this point here. I'm going to take this point here and I am going to, what am I doing wrong? Okay, there we go. So it opens like this. Pouch. Thank you, Donna. Oh, honey, I need you. How come you don't live in Winnipeg next door to me? Here's my pouch. And in my pouch, you can put in some of these little eggies. Okay? You're going to take this V. You're going to fold it into your pouch. Come on, work with me here. How come it's not going? Maybe I have too many eggies. Let's take the eggies out. What am I doing wrong? There's my pouch. There we go. This gets folded into that like so, okay? So, put your eggs in. Wow. Girls, if you come back, it's a miracle. That goes in like that, okay? You're going to fold this over. This point here is going to tuck into... No, it's not. What am I doing wrong? Darlene, oh, sorry. This does not get tucked in. You're going to pinch this like so. And now I have an opening here this point gets tucked in to there. Wow. Ever do a Facebook Live and at the end of it you're thinking, wow, that was a fail? I'm feeling that way about today. And there you go. Look at that little shape. Let me show that to you again properly. Okay? So we've made... We've made our... <coughs> Our, our little envelope. I'm going to take this corner. I am going to tuck it into this corner like so. Then I'm going to open my pouch. Thank you for that, Donna. And this folds over. This corner here, this little flap, tucks into here like so. Andrea, welcome here. It's so nice to see your name. There you go. And there's that little pouch, okay? So, you'll have to look back on the on the replay. Karen or Brenda, do you want me to do that again? Never a fail. Okay. Here we go. After all your burnishing is done, okay? This is the last burnish. You're going to take this edge and it's going to go along that score line. This bottom is going along that bottom. This edge follows this score line. The bottom follows the bottom. Now you have an envelope. Okay? Jean, you are such an encourager. Thank you so much. So I've got this looking like an envelope. Okay? If you take this flap and tuck it into here, like so, we still have the envelope, okay? Now, you pick up your envelope, you give it a squish, you've got this corner, and you've got this corner, this little flap right here. This flap here 
is going to get tucked in to here, like so. There we go, okay? Now, what time is it? Do we have time to do a super fast card or should we sign off? Okay, isn't that gorgeous? And you can put little eggies in here or it would fit a Ferro Rocher. Just remember that when you squish it, you've got these two corners. That's what you want. This flap gets tucked in to there. Do we have time for a fast card or should I do the draw? Show the card. Okay, Donna, show the card. And Donna, you know what? You were on Tamara's last night. So this is nothing, um, nothing new for you because you were there. Here's the dimensions of this card. Your card base is 11 by four and a half. Okay, you are scoring at five and a half, and you are scoring at four and a quarter. There's your card base. Okay, you are going to cut a piece of cardstock five by four, and you are going to cut one inch off of it. It's a fast card, Karen, super fast. So if I cut one inch off of my card stock, my card stock measures five by four, you're gonna take your design paper and your design paper measures four and a half by three and three quarters and you are gonna cut off three quarters of an inch. Now my design paper has a design. Part of it is going to go on this. The other part is going to go on here. So when I cut this, I want to be strategic about where I cut it. Okay. I want to cut three quarters of an inch off and I want to make sure that I'm cutting it off on this side. So there is my three quarters of an inch, like so. This card is going to take a minute. And this is a great way to use up your design paper. Okay, you can use your Tombow or you can use your um, stamp and seal, whatever you prefer. You're going to put your design paper down on here. The other half on the other half of your card stock, which is now four by four. And my glue came oozing out on that side. This is going to go down on your card base. There's my first score, and I think I cut everything incorrectly by the looks of things. No, I didn't. You know what? I didn't score at the right place. Wow, talk about a fail. Oh my goodness. I'm embarrassed. I may never come back to Facebook now. I didn't, um, I didn't score at four and a quarter. There should be a score mark right in between that. So let's fix that. Let's fix that and put a score mark right there and it didn't score oh dear oh dear oh dear I am so embarrassed how come it's not scoring you know what I'm too thick in here now I need my scoreboard I need my scoreboard so I can make a score mark right down the center here. There we go. Okay. 
there it is. I can score it now. I just did. So once I added my design paper, it wouldn't fit in my scoreboard. You're going to take a piece of ribbon. You're going to tuck your ribbon under your card. Give it a cut. Donna, are you going to tell Tamara on me? Where you're like, oh boy, this girl with her lives? Boy, does she need help. <laughs> I have never had a live be this bad. If you're having a hard time because you need an extra finger, here's just something that I like to do when I'm tying a knot with ribbon. I'm trying to go super fast here. I get my knot started like so. So, I put a little piece of, or a little glue dot under there to hold my ribbon in place. And then I can tie the rest of my bow. And then you're going to trim that up however you want. For time's sake, I'm not going to do it. You want to make sure that you're a little bit straighter there. You're going to take your tear and tape. You're going to put your tear and tape along your proper score line. Just saying. Thank you, Brenda. You're going to take your tear and tape off. You're going to close your card. Give it a little burnish with your finger, and there you go. There's your cute little book card, book fold card. Isn't that adorable? And then you would just put your sentiment on there, whatever you wanted. If you wanted something a little bit smaller, right there is where I would put that so that I don't lose my design paper. And so there is your... Um, book fold card okay it is so fun to make girls it's addicting okay so take a screenshot or write that down and I will have the dimensions um, when I do my my blog post uh, if anybody misses it okay so now in my utter embarrassment here's my other one that I did okay with with the proper dimensions okay and it fits in an A2 envelope, okay? So there you go. How embarrassing! Anyway, the camera is coming up, ladies, so I can choose um, the draw for last week for the share. And uh, here we go. And sit properly, please. There we go, there we go. I don't know if my head's chopped off or not. Okay, am I blushing? I should be. That was so bad. Last week for shares, we had Carol, or we had Gail. And if you're here and um, I don't call out your name and you shared last week, please let me know. And Darlene, it is. It's a super quick card, super quick, and you can use your DSP. It's fantastic. So we've got Gail. We have Carol, Karen, Barb, Susan, FP, Tracy, Darlene. Did anybody else share last week that I am forgetting about? Okay, I'll give you a few minutes because there's about a 30 second delay and I'll see if anybody else jumps in. <laughs> oh, girls. You know what? I appreciate you so much. Like, how kind are you that you're even that you even came back? So, did anybody else share last week that I didn't mention? You shared. Uh, you shared this week. Yeah, Tracy. Um, oh, okay, Tracy. Let me put your name down. Thank you so much for saying so. Um, Tracy, Tracy, because I did not have your name for this week. Where's my little... 
Tracy. Okay, there you are. Okay, I've got Tracy for next week. So uh, this week for those that shared last week, and again, thank you so much, all of you, for coming back. It means an awful lot after all my blunders. The winner for this week's card is Carol SS. So Carol, I do, I do need to finish this one. I will put that on. So do you want to choose between the, um, the, which one do you want? I forget the name of this DSP. I pulled it out whale of a time. I love this DSP. It is so fun. Do you want whale of a time or do you want, um, this happy that I created as my prototype? You let me know, um, Carol, and I will send that card off to you. Okay. So fun. I love doing draws. I do. I want to send you all a card. I hope everybody is, is getting a chance. You love the happy one. Okay, Carol, I will send you the happy one. Okay, so Carol, this is coming in the mail. I'm going to get that in an envelope right away. I believe I have your address. And, uh, and if I don't, I'll shout out and I'll get your address from you. But I'm pretty sure that I do, Carol. And uh, so next week for the draw, I have Darlene, I have Brenda LS, I have Jean, I have Karen, Barb, Kathy, Tracy, Carol, and Connie. Okay, so uh, uh, Carol, the card is going to be in the mail. Ladies, thank you so much for being patient with me. Thank you for coming back after I got bumped off and working through all the blunders with me. Darlene, thank you for your guidance where I kind of got um, messed up. Uh, I will get this posted. You can rewatch it either on Facebook or you can rewatch it on my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would appreciate that. Um, Carol, I'm excited for you too, honey. I, I really am. Uh, if, if you go to YouTube and you Google Denise Willerton, uh, my channel will come up. And if you want to subscribe to me, I would greatly appreciate that. It means an awful lot. And uh, with that, I am going to say adieu. Jean, you're so sweet. And I, I love all of you ladies too. I really do. So again, thank you for being patient with me. Thank you for coming back and watching all of my blunders and faux pas but these boxes are super cute and just a great way for a little trinket um, and using up some of our design paper because we really do need to use up our design paper because there's more beautiful paper coming out so with that again I'm going to say bonjour have a wonderful weekend and uh, it was wonderful hanging out with you Kathy question mark I'm not sure what that means uh, if you want to message me, um, uh, because I'm not sure what you mean by the question mark. And now you've got me curious. Connie, you're welcome. Um, and thanks, Darlene. It was fun. Oh, even in all my craziness. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Anyway, I'm going to scoot. We will see you next week right here. Same channel, same time, 315 Facebook Live. And uh, no question. Okay, I'm not sure why there was a question mark um, beside your name. That was weird. Love you girls. Have a lovely weekend. And we will talk to you later. Bye-bye.